Right, let's do this isometric drawing over here using these three views over here in order to draw the isometric view. Um, you'll see that they've got a pentagon over here and the first thing that we're going to look at is how to go about drawing that pentagon as an auxiliary view. Do your auxiliary view first. Well, hopefully you guys know how to do an, uh, a pentagon uh, using that three circle method. If you don't know how to do that, please go and look at it on another video that I've done earlier. Um, once you've got your auxiliary view over here of the pentagon, I then go about drawing the fish tank. You'll see that I've got a fish tank. It says that I've got a square base over here of 62 millimeters by 62 millimeters. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to measure off a line over there, 62 millimeters, a line over there at 62 millimeters. And then I'm going to take lines going up from that base over there and I add 12 and 56 in order to get to the top of my my fish tank that I've drawn over here. You'll see that I've got a mark 12 millimeters high and I'm going to draw a line going across there and a line going across there. They then tell you that you've got a piece of line that needs to be drawn 38 millimeters across. Now what we need to do there is to find the center of this thing okay finding the center and then you're going to measure out whatever half of 38 is okay so here we go I need to find the center how do I go about doing that well I draw a line coming across here like that I drop a line down at 60 degrees like that and I take a line going back at 60 degrees over there that will give me the center Okay, so I've got a center of this line over here. I now divide 38, 38 by, so that's 18, 18 millimeters should give me my 38, sorry, 19 millimeters, 19 millimeters, there we go. 19 millimeters should give me my 38, okay? So I come along here and I measure off on either side my 19 millimeters there, 19 millimeters there, and I can now draw in a dark line coming down over there, a dark line coming down over there. I'm going to extend that line out, okay? And you're going to see that it's cut the corner off exactly the same distance from there to there as from there to there. So just extend that line out and I can then draw that corner cut off like that. Okay, it is being cut off at 45 degrees. A 45 degree line in my isometric drawing, I just continue out straight over there. Right, over here I can take a line going straight across and straight across to cut off that corner. Note, I'm not having to measure these distances over here. As soon as I've found that point and that point, I can just draw lines straight across. I then, then need to measure off my 38 millimeters, same distance as that, and come across over here, measure that off, and I can draw in the story over here, and then across there. And I draw a line which is going to go straight out over there. Right, at that point, you can see I've got my base more or less sorted out. And I'm then going to start doing the pentagon. Now, when you're doing this pentagon, don't try to start doing the pentagon down at the bottom. Go right up to the top. Find out where that pentagon lies on the top and then drop lines coming down from the pentagon that you're going to draw at the top. Okay, so let's try and find out where that pentagon starts. Well, we've already found the center, okay? So if I draw a line going up, remember there's my center, and I take that going across over here, I can then measure off this distance of 12 millimeters over there. Measure off the 12 millimeters, pop that in over there, okay? And I can draw a line going across at 30 degrees. Once I've got that, well, I come down to my auxiliary view over here and I'm going to measure off, well, half the length of the base. Come over there to the center, 
Mark that off over there, turn that round, mark that off over there, and I can now draw in the base of my pentagon nice and dark over there. Right, once I've got that, well, I need to try and figure out where that point and that point are on this drawing. How do I do that? Well, I can draw a line going across over here, and I've got a distance from there to there, which I can then mark off on my isometric view. From there to there, take it across to this story over here, mark that off, and I can draw a construction line going across over there. I have a distance from here to that corner over there, and I can take that and pop that over there and over there. Once I've got those in place, I can then draw in that and that. Okay, and the last point that I need for my pentagon is from there out to there. Go over here, mark that off. There it is. And I can now draw in a line going from there to there and from there to there, getting my pentagon on the top surface. Right, after that, well, I'm going to drop lines coming down, some construction lines just coming down over here. Let me just use a different color. Line coming down from that corner, line coming down from that corner, a line coming down from that corner. That corner I'm not going to be able to see, that corner I'm not going to be able to see. And it tells me that I need to drop down 56 millimeters over there. So I come over here, measure off my 56 millimeters, knock that in over there, mark that off on that line, go to that corner, mark that off on that line, go to that corner, mark that off on that line, and I should be able to draw in my base of the pentagon over there, and over here. And once I've done that, well, I can then draw in a line coming down there, line coming down there, and a line coming down there. Last thing that I need to do is to finish off the base over here. You can see that there must be a line traveling along there. And I need to finish off this line going off over there. And that is your drawing done, except for that line that I didn't do. There we go. That's finished.